Welcome to part four. We're going to have a look at some backgrounds. So uh, as you can see, the uh, background here looks very boring because it's white and we want to make it look a little more exciting. Now let's say we uh, want him to be walking in the living room. So we could uh, take this living room and drag it into the scene like this. Now we will have to do it three times because only this one has the living room. So we need to drag it into each one like this. Now in the uh, scenes, everything can be moved. Like you'll notice um, there's a, a TV here and we can move that around uh, like this. See, we can move it around and we can do the same with all the other objects. Now I'm going to preview this. Let's just see what it looks like. Ah, it's not bad. The only problem, he was walking in front of the TV and he should have been walking... No, sorry, what I meant to say was that he walked behind the TV and he was supposed to walk in front. So, what we do is we uh, click this and we say bring forward, bring forward, bring forward. Now, if you're not sure if it's going to work, click preview and see if it works. And just see what happens. Ah, okay. I think that's going to work. But uh, we need to change scene 2 also. So remember, make sure that he is in front of the TV and not behind. So again, bring forward and bring forward. So we should do the same with the third one. So bring forward, bring forward. Like that. Now, let's try. So he walks. He says hello, and he's in front of the TV, and he just runs off. Excellent. Good stuff. Also, notice that uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see um, these scenes that have a number 30 next to them. If you want to use these scenes, you probably have to pay. So it is better to use the ones that don't say 30 with the two gold coins. So stick with these ones. Because with this, you probably have to pay. So use the free ones. Okay, check in for part five. Thank you.